Thanks for watching this Mapbox how-to video. In this video, I will show you how to use the Mapbox marker map component for Framer X. And this component enables you to drop multiple markers onto your custom map. So let's get started. You can download the Mapbox component in the Framer store. Just search for Mapbox and click install. And when you navigate to components, you'll see your marker map component here. So let's draw a frame and click on components and drag marker map to the frame. And there's your map. You can move your map and align it and resize it any way that you like. And we have default core styles here for you to choose from. And if you'd like to get rid of the watermark or choose a designer style or a custom style, you'll need an access token. And that's easy to do. Just copy this URL and go to a web browser, paste that in, log into your Mapbox account, and there's your access token. Click copy, back in Framer, paste that in. And now under map styles, we have designer styles that you can choose from, or you can choose custom, and you'll need your style URL. So back in Mapbox, let's navigate to Mapbox Studio. We're at studio.mapbox.com. We're in the style section and my custom style is the one that I would like to use. So click share and use, use, scroll down, style URL. Let's copy this, back in Framer, paste that in. And there's my custom style. I can choose to show or hide the location on the map. And let's add our markers. And for Mapbox to know where to put the markers, you need to add a JSON file. And you could write this code from scratch, but you don't have to. Just go to the Mapbox README file here. And when you scroll down, you'll see under Marker Map, we have the JSON file for you here. This is sample code. So just copy this and paste that in. And you'll see that we have three locations. This one's Walnut Hills, Marble Mountain, and Evergreen Pond. And for each location, we have a name, a location, that's our latitude and longitude, and in the focus location. So this is specifying how you want the map to look when you search for Walnut Hills. It'll zoom at 12 and it'll have bearing at zero and the pitch at 60. And you can also add a category and details, and this is text. So let's save this. We're gonna call this FramerXLocations.json. And back in FramerX, click Choose File, and let's find that JSON file. And so there are my three points, but they're kind of hard to see. So let's use um, our latitude and longitude boxes to center the map around our points. And we can just go back to our JSON file and choose the latitude and longitude from here. And this was 42. And we can change our zoom. And the bearing and the pitch and make this look exactly how we want it to. And we can choose to show or hide the markers on our map. You can also customize the design of the markers. So let's navigate to components and choose marker design component and drag it to the stage. And if you double click on this, you'll be able to customize the fill and other properties of your marker. So let's change this to blue and name it something, blue marker. Click on the map and choose blue marker. And now our markers have changed. And you can create a custom marker with any image. I am going to use a GIF, drop that on the stage and resize it. And let's name it diamond. Click on the map and choose our diamond marker. There you go. And we can choose to change the pin offset on the x-axis and on the y-axis. And let's preview this. When you click on one of your points, you see that this card pops up and you can change the offset of the card as well in the same way, x-axis and y-axis. We also have the ability to show and hide a search bar. Search bar up here and you can change the language in which the search is conducted. 
You can also customize the placeholder text. So search these points. And the search is conducted only on the points in your JSON file. You can change the position, top center, top left, top right. And you can also choose the offset if you want it to a little bit lower, or a little bit higher. You can change the scope of the search as well, whether you want to search the whole world or just the map view. So let's see this in action. We know from our JSON file we have a place called Walnut Hills and we have two places that are parks. So let's take a look at that. Let's preview this and let's search Walnut and see our assisted search pops up. And let's search parks. And we have two options here. So there you go. Now you know how to use the Mapbox Marker Map component in FramerX. Thanks for using Mapbox and keep building.